understanding territories in terra firma. So, you always know that since you were a child, that, you know, since you were a kid, that's since a child, because we know that children is a fiction. A kid or an offspring. All right, so, actually, I think a kid refers to an animal as well. But anyways, you're always known since you were a little one that the home tree is the home base. It's the home base. It's where you're safe. This is where the big mama tree was, tree of Eden. And you notice that everything around it has been claimed because there's no just us. It's just us. There's no justice. It's just us. So what we've done is we've gone and literally given all of our liberty and land up to this fictional corporation because they give us contracts and licenses and titles and state titles and these state titles are actually saying hey you own it but if you create like a homestead you're creating your own title which means you own the land and not you know which means it's under god you have free land technically but now like say for instance like a state park or a state anything it's technically owned by someone else because you gave up the authority to be subjected subjugated by another man or whatever and furthermore if you pay for any of this land to someone else and it's say a federal reserve note then you're basically saying hey i don't own anything and you're the owner of everything and i owe you and i owe you some more that's pretty much what you're saying that's what creates the security agreements because if you pay a, uh, an IOU, then someone can create a security agreement and say uh, that you acknowledge that there's a debt because now I owe you something else and something more. But if you discharge it, then that's why it goes away. Typically for up to a year, if I'm not mistaken. But anywho, territories. You notice that Hyperborea was never on your map. Hyperborea is never on your map because it didn't exist as a fiction because the U.S. map was fictional. See what I'm saying? So this would never be seen on a U.S. map, rightfully so, and deceptively, uh, deceptionally uh, also for their benefit. But at the same time, they can't put it on a fictional map. That's super genius. Hats off to the people who came up with that idea. That is just absolutely nuts. Or should I say the being or the force? It's just super genius. I gotta I always give credit where credit's due. I'm still astonished by this deception. Anywho, what you're looking at is below the plane, there's a black sun. Bing! The highest projecting beyond the firmament in the holographic universe is the sun. Within the firmament, below, However, so clever my pinky would make that. Someone had to be sitting around for hundreds of years playing with this shit in order to create their own symbol of their own head or face or their own likeness. And it be deceptionally hitting, hiding the whole truth of this place. Would be, take thousands, maybe hundreds of years to, to formulate in your mind. <laughs> you can't even pass it along generationally and say, hey, do this again and come up with something else cool to go on with it. Because... You, I mean, how many, how many years would it take to come up with something so clever? But anyways, inside of this place, once again, owned by the UN and also notorious for having a dark side of it. Because if it had a light side of it, just like the sun would, you would see a double moon. That's why there's a dark side to the moon, because you don't see a motherfucking thing on it while it's on the surface. So, however... Beyond the celestial waters comes the light. The creator's creation that these people all want us to look up and say, oh, that's God, but it's not. It's like a guiding light. And it sits on a path and never sets. And to understand that is to understand perspective. I have something that I'm preparing to show you in a little bit in a, in a later video. But I want to show you this now to understand the territories. There may be a treaty here to keep you from going to the horizon line where it's a white. So you can see this ice ring. 
but there's not a treaty here and this is not on a fictional map and it's not claimed by anything because it would be this is just where the territory just cuts off this is where the limits cut off for some strange reason whether it be the tree itself or just the territory or whatever and you're safe there and it's not fictional territory it's not considered to be a fiction very interesting stay awake